Hey guys, a little while ago we looked at seven times judges delivered epic beatdowns to defendants in sentencing hearings to kind of compare to how the Daryl Brooks case went. Let's though look at the defendants themselves because Daryl Brooks, his performance in his sentencing hearing was really underwhelming. He just meandered for a couple of hours, feeling sorry for himself, saying how he allowed the victims to speak even though some of the things they said were rude, but generally just underwhelming and really, compared to the rest of his trial, completely forgettable. If you're a violent criminal, how are you going to make the most of your sentencing hearing? It's the last time anybody's going to listen to you before you get put away in your cage. What can you do? Let's look at five ways defendants can maximize the impact of their violent crime sentencing hearing. First, cry. Just cry. Just break down and cry and let everybody know how sorry you are that you're being punished. Because at least... That lets people know if you couldn't care for anyone else, you could at least care for yourself. Let's take a look. God, count eight, the having a weapon while under disability, I sentence you to 36 months. Counts nine and 10, there are no sentences because they um, merge with count five. Count 11, the disrupting public service of felony of fourth degree, I sentence you to 12 months. The gut specifications on counts one, five. So that's a sad spectacle. Maybe understandable that uh, you would feel bad the fact that you're going to go away for a lot of years, but maybe on the other hand, you should have thought about the impact uh, on the victims of the crime you were about to commit before you did it. Then you would never have been in that situation. Another thing to do is just get angry. Hey, why should you have to put up with this being punished for something you did? Well, let's look at this fine gentleman. Man. I didn't do anything wrong, man. And see, reacting with unhinged anger and cursing out the judge is a great way to let everybody know, hey, at least we got the right guy. He is as bad as we thought. Let's put him away in his cage. And then that helps resolve any lingering questions there. So that, that's a good one. Still, it's no top level performance, right? I mean, a lot of people get mad and angry. A lot of people cry. Let's take it up a notch. Why don't you faint? Crime one as charged in count one. Same title, same cause. Verdict. We, the jury, in the above entitled cause, defendant Weldon K. McDavid, guilty of the crime of conspiracy to commit murder. In that case, felonious assault, a felony of the second degree, it is ordered that the defenders in prison on that count. As to count three of years on that count as well. You can see the... You can see the look on these defendants' faces. Things just didn't go the way they wanted them to, and they go from shock to horror to some sort of resignation as it sinks in, and finally, they simply collapse. And no one's going to forget that, right? That No one's going to forget that they fainted in the courtroom, that it was just too much for them to take being punished for what they had done. Now that we're, we're getting up there in the performance department now. We're, we're beyond just crying and cussing. We're, we're creating a memorable scene there of actually fainting. How do you raise the bar from that? I've got to admit, it's tough, but I think I found one with this defendant who decided to sing his apology for the things he had done wrong. Hello there, you're on her. I want to say I'm sorry for the things I've done. And I try and be stronger in this life I chose, but I want you to know that door I close in your honor I'm sorry 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 to my mother I'm sorry 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 to the victim I'm sorry 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 yes your honor I'm sorry 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 oh. thank you your honor all right, sorry to the judge, sorry to the victims, all in song. Whether it was sincere or not, no one's going to forget that. No one's going to forget that this guy sang his way into jail. Humming bars while he's on his way behind bars. That's up there. That, to me, is the best of this lot. But if you really want to make the final statement and have the last word, what could be more dramatic and more impactful than simply killing yourself 
at the sentencing hearing. You, you get the sentence you don't like, you just swallow a lot of poison and die right there in the courtroom. Well, yeah, that happened. Guilty of arson of an occupied structure. We further find this offense is a dangerous felony because the offense involved the discharge, use, or threatening exhibition of fire, a deadly weapon, or dangerous instrument. Yes. Yeah, this guy's not the first one who killed himself for um, for the sentence he got and facing justice, but that kind of thing is obviously a big deal. And uh, I think it's the highest thing that you could do if you want to leave an impact on the court, probably more disruptive. My advice would be, especially if you want to wait and see if an appeal would work, is don't kill yourself then. Although there are certainly some defendants, I think the world's a better place without them. But the singing, I'm giving the singing some high marks there. It's not offensive really to anybody. And uh, it's certainly kind of unique. And who doesn't want to have communication via song? So I'm rating that as the best of these five ways to make the most of your sentencing, your violent crime sentencing hearing. Thanks.